Hello Gemini, welcome back to Soul Vibe and back again with another tarot card reading here for you. This tarot reading is going to be for April 2021, so we're going to tune into your energy to see what's coming up around the month of 2021, I mean April 2021. So we're going to tune into your energy and we're going to see who or what's coming up around you, beginning, middle, and end. I have pulled out some cards already and an affirmation card for you for the month of April. I am centered in truth and peace. The universe is one of great order and peacefulness. I reflect this in every moment of my life. All right, so this is a very powerful affirmation. I feel like um, if some of you guys haven't been feeling this way, I feel like this is a good affirmation to tell yourself in the mornings, okay? Um, maybe you're finding out the truth about something. Maybe you're starting to realize who you truly are. Or you're starting to get into the deeper meaning of life in some type of way. But let's go ahead and pull out some tarot. So tarot for all my Geminis out there. Okay, so Gemini, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, whatever it is that you're watching, all signs are welcome. I do recommend you watch from your rising sign. So take a look at your birth chart um, under the sign of Ascendant. So here, our first card that has popped out is the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so to me, this is working with others. So I feel like you're going to be... Um, you're going to have a good time working with others around this time, okay? You may want to be around other people. Generally, that's your energy anyways, Gemini, okay? You like to be around other people, but in some type of way, I feel like you're going to be in the center of attention. And this can also mean I'm um, saving, okay? So take a look at your savings account. Take a look at um, what it is you're building up to or where it is that you want to be at. Um, like I said, there's a sense that you're maybe looking at things from a different perspective. You're starting to wonder like, hmm, what am I building here? Because the three is the number of a master builder. So I definitely feel like you're going to be looking at things and maybe even asking for other people's help. Maybe an older person can help you um, figure things out on where it is that you want to go. Maybe this can be a financial advisor as well for some of you. So here we get the nine of pentacles. You, I feel like um, throughout this time, there's been a sense like Gemini, you have been working on your self-worth in some type of way. With the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like you're finally realizing, you know, what it is you want and what it is that you that you um, want to come to you. And you, you realize that this abundance or this windfall of good energy, positive energy and um, um, self-worth is going to come from you and what you put out into the world. And so now you're starting to look at things and kind of... Um, daydream right <laughs> you're starting to kind of daydream up what you can actually achieve through grounding your energy now that you've unlocked this sense of you reap what you sow and you're actually understanding the laws of manifestation i definitely feel like you're going to be putting them to work in some type of way here okay for those of you this is this may be um um working with others to help you uh achieve what it is you want yes but also in some type of way this may be some kind of spell work i don't know why i'm getting that but the empress has shown up here so i would definitely feel like through the month of april you're going to be working on your self-worth or you're going to be studying a deeper knowledge or maybe even wanting to start your own business okay you're starting to build up to the empress energy i feel like this is where you want to be and this is where you want to go some of you may already be em embracing excuse me embracing this energy this empress energy where you're um you've learned your lessons the empress ultimately has learned the lessons of all the queens or for others of you you know of your men um you're definitely learning to balance your divine feminine okay you're learning to be more relaxed maybe you're learning to be more in your um i get what i want and you know i'm gonna let that come to me and if it doesn't come to me then it's not it's not meant for me you know, so you're standing in your power in that, in that sense, in your divine feminine power, okay, you're learning to use your divine feminine power to get what you want, yeah, the high priestess, very interesting, because the high priestess is also somebody who, who dives into the, the, the good and bad, but is centered in the middle, with the intuition at her feet, she's, she also knows so much, she's learned so much, the, the pomegranates represent wisdom, so the high priestess, and you can also see these tomatoes back here as pomegranates. They almost look like it as well. <laughs> so the high priestess is centered in, in truth, basically. The high priestess knows it all. Um, she knows the good and the bad. She sees both sides of the, of the story. So there may be someone coming in around you telling you one thing, but you're also seeing the, the deeper side of what they really want. Does that make sense? So it's like people may be coming to you asking for your opinion or 
wanting to take your energy in some type of way. Don't definitely see you following your intuition with all this. But with the High Priestess, I feel like you're also touching in to the cult in some type of way. So you may be also learning, um, learning some type of sacred knowledge <laughs> let's just say sacred knowledge or you may be getting a teacher in around you who's who's gonna come forward to you or maybe you're coming forward to this person but um i definitely see a sense of you building you building up to something i don't know if this is building the courage to come up to someone and tell someone something or if this is just you building up your gifts your natural abilities and talents um whether this is learning that you know you are a queen and you're using um, all you have, you know, like if you're a woman, like it's like you're you're glowing up, you know, you're learning to say, you know what, I'm sexy as I am and I'm going to show it, right? I'm going to dress up. I'm going to, you know, do this or that. And, and I'm going to let whatever it is I deserve come to me because that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? With well, the high priestess here, though, this is definitely um, your intuition telling you something. And it's right in the heart and center of your reading. So make sure you pay attention to your intuition here. Um, for some of you, you may be receiving a message from somebody who may seem like, you know, you may be receiving a message from somebody here. I feel like you're really into this person. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that there. I feel like there's a lot of passion between you and this person. And this person sees you as very, very attractive. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This person um, may be under the sign of a Cancer or Libra. But what I'm seeing, um, or Taurus as well, um, but what, what I'm seeing here is that this person has a strong Taurus energy. This person um, may hold potential to either... Either this person is coming in to teach you something <laughs> or this person is coming in to um, give you some, uh, fulfill something here with you, okay? A promise. I'm getting almost like a promise. I don't know why. So some, some, yeah, wow. All my cards falling out. Oh yeah, that's a gnomon. Something like a promise or something or I don't know. Maybe this connection is faded in some type of way. The magician. Very interesting. I feel like you may have manifested this. You may have manifested even a teacher um, to come teach you something. Or you may be learning. Like I said, you may be diving into the occult and learning something that maybe you haven't learned before. Um, the High Priestess and the Hierophant card. This is definitely a sign of learning something. Um, and here you are as a student. The Page of Wands that has shown up. Um, here you are. Um, looking forward towards the future. Kind of wondering. What, what else is there out there for me? It's almost like you're maybe diving in deep into your own purpose in life like what can I create for myself that's exactly what I'm getting you following your own intuition to actually um put yourself in the magician's place where you're creating the life you want and you're actually asking yourself well what do I want what do I want to build? You know, where do I want to work at? Or what what do I want to do? Um, and you're all you're the beginning of April is really gonna be the seed for this because you're you're really thinking about something here. Very interesting. I love I love your energy. It's really plain, really simple, and I love it. Six of Cups, you may be thinking about well, for some of you, you may be thinking about children or you may be, yeah, see the sun card, the sun card and the six of cups. This is a child. You may be thinking about having a child with somebody. Wow. Look at you. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to congratulations um, with the, oh my God. Some of you may be making a promise to somebody. You may be getting married or you may be getting engaged. Oh yeah. Look at, look at that. Oh, wow. Very beautiful. I feel like you're just going to be brave enough to just go ahead and do it. You know what I mean? It's like if you're looking for a sign, Gemini, and um, you wanted to propose to somebody or maybe you wanted to know if you're going to be proposed to. Now, of course, this is a message, a, a direct message to some of you, not all of you. But hey, this marriage, this union for some of you is not with the person you expect, but maybe with yourself. Maybe this union is with your higher self. You know, the lover's card I see as divine feminine, divine masculine within you coming together in perfect harmony and balance. Okay, this is going to bring you lots of clarity, abundance, and happiness into your life. Okay, especially a lot of harmony. Okay, and I feel like um, maybe you're getting in touch with your inner child. Maybe you've healed your inner child or, or even maybe somebody from the past for some of you that's coming back up. Okay, but if you don't have anybody, 
and um, nobody comes up, then maybe this is just you finding your path in some type of way. And this is going to bring tremendous happiness into your life. Very beautiful. I love your energy, Gemini. I love your energy for the... You and Aquarius had, like, my favorite readings, I think. So let's go ahead and... Well, well, there it is. Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. So this is something you have to work on surrendering, just spending more time in nature, all right, in order to m bring your manifest manifestations to life. Spend more time in nature. The lover's card, okay? Nature really balances you out. <laughs> Some of you may be going through a kundalini awakening. I've been noticing a lot of um, snakes lately, for sure. To me, this is knowledge, okay? Knowledge. You're knowledging up on something, okay? Or you're you're learning something. Maybe it's something about yourself. Or maybe this is trying to find the knowledge in order to move forward within your own life. But let's get guidance from the universe here. So we get freedom. Spread your wings. And we get love. Allow it to pour in and out of you. Very beautiful. So I'll put that there because you get a lot of love with the four wands, the, the lover's card as well. But that's all love. And here, too, you get some sense of love and feelings that you're maybe keeping to yourself, but you're learning to channel them in some type of way here. So here, wow, you guys, <laughs> the vow. So this is straight up telling me you're going through some type of passage, okay? Now, this passage can be metaphorically, it can be spiritually, or it can be... Um, literal, where you're making a promise to somebody, okay, or someone's going to make a promise to you, or maybe you need to think about the last time you made a promise to someone, did you keep it, you know, think about situations like that, but overall, with the Hierophant card and all this, this is a sign of marriage, someone here may be getting married, engaged, or you may be meeting a person who has the potential to give you everything you want, with the promise, the oath, the contract, some of you may be going through a contract, so be very aware to read through the contract or see what you're being offered, okay? Whether this is a spiritual contract and you're stepping into your power and you're starting to realize who you are and maybe you're starting to question where it is that you should be going. Gemini, there's no turning back after this, I promise you. I mean, you've already dived in. So if you're already at the point of the vow where you're initiating something or you're being offered a contract here, there's no turning back. So you're already in this to win this. So don't worry about it. Um, you're going down a, a path of enlightenment, of truth. All right. The path of truth. So you're, you're shifting into your own destiny here um, in the month of April. So that's very beautiful. Let's go ahead and see what the moon cards have for Okay, I'll take these. So this is for the new moon and the full moon, okay? So we get, whew, what do you need to release? So for the new moon, okay? Make sure that from the new moon, wait, from this full moon, okay? So we're in a full moon right now. So you should release any anything you need to release through a burning bowl ritual. I'm telling you that right now. Even though this is for the month of April. Um, since we're in the full moon now and you got this card, I get a big sense that you need to release something. So release this before, okay, this contract or this opportunity comes to you in the month of April. Expect a powerful change, new moon eclipse. So to me, there's a big change happening for you. This can be a job, a career change. This can be moving homes with the Empress card. This can be a whole different relationship going a different way that you never expected it to. Um, but overall, I'm getting a sense that you're going to be very well balanced and very well in harmony with everything around you. So don't worry too much about what's coming your way. Um, let's go ahead and read your little sparks of kindness and balance. You get do nothing. So this is a big sense of divine divine feminine energy, which is the high priestess and the empress card. Okay, just kind of relax, sit back, let things come to you. Do at least one page of mindless doodling. Again, it, it's a sense of just kind of relax and let things come to you. So for some of you, you're getting this offer. Okay. You're, you're going to get an offer, okay, whether it's spiritually. Now, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it depends what kind of offer you're getting. 
I'm going to just hold myself there. I'm not going to say anything else. Be reliable. Let people know they can count on you. Someone may need your help. Okay. The month of April in some type of way. This may be a child. Or maybe, you know, you may have to help take care of a child the month of April. Um, the last one, do an anonymous, do an anonymous kindness, like feeding someone's parking meter. To me, this is also like feeding birds or, you know, uh, feeding neighborhood cats or something. I don't know. That's something I like to do. But anyways, um, that is all I have for you, Gemini. Thanks so much for tuning in. I will see you guys at your next time. Bye.